Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. This is Amber and I'm going to be continuing on with my Rediscover Your Stash series. And in today's video, oh my goodness, we're going to be using so much paper. So if you saw my last video, which was the um, cute little covered notepad wallets, I called them I think chunky notepad wallets. They're these little cute ones right here. I use the Southern Belle paper pad by DCWB, and I'm continuing on with that paper pad, trying to use up all the paper, and let me tell you, this project right here uses a ton of paper. So as you can Before I get started on the tutorial, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love Skillshare. They are an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of classes covering dozens of entrepreneurial, creative topics and skills. Premium membership, which gives you access to all the incredible classes and workshops, works out to be just around $10 a month, which is pretty amazing. So whether you want a place to fuel your curiosity, your career, or like me, your creativity, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. I just found this class the other day and I was so excited because it's actually what inspired today's video tutorial. So as I was saying, I was searching through Skillshare and I found this class and this lady basically is incredible. I mean, look at her fussy cutting on all this stuff. But what inspired me about this class and what kept me excited the entire way through is that she took an entire paper pad and used the entire thing to make a card set. There's just something so intriguing and inspiring and motivating about seeing that item that you bought in the store or you bought online and watching it transform into a bunch of little pieces and works of art. And that's exactly what she did here in this video with this gorgeous paper pad. And it just really inspired me to continue on with my Rediscover Your Stash series and bring you guys a lot of projects and ideas on how to use up that paper. Skillshare is absolutely a great place to go over and get inspired and learn from really, really good teachers who have that skill already. And just for being a subscriber and watching this video, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description below will receive two free months of Skillshare Premium. So make sure you check my description, click on that link, and you can start learning with Skillshare, checking out their library of classes and workshops, joining all of the other millions of creators already learning with Skillshare today. So as you can see here, I've got 10 pieces of double-sided 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, and um, you can use single-sided if you want, but again, use what you have. Definitely use what you have. Um, this paper, again, is the Southern Belle by DCWV, and it's all double-sided paper. So let me show you what I came up with and the project that we're going to be making today. So this right here is a cute little triple pocket, and I made a card set out of it. And I made this using just the paper out of that paper pad. So here is the cute little pocket. And so I just simply embellished the front pocket here. But what this is, is a little card set. It's got six cards and six envelopes. And so here's three cards. And what I did is I just, there's these little cutouts in the paper pad. Let me show you. So since this paper is double-sided, so here's that page with the 4 by 6 journaling cards on it. And I used that for the inside of my cards. And so this is one of the cards. I made these really simply just using the double-sided paper for the actual base itself. And then again, I just glued this in here for the sentiment because these are double-sided, so there's not really a space to write. So I had to kind of find something to put in there. And they're just simple note cards. They're not embellished on the front, although there also is cut aparts like this in that paper pad, and you could easily use one for each front. So they're very, very fun and quick, but I made three here, and so here's the other two. And there's the inside for that one for the sentiment. 
And then we've got this pretty blueberry one with that one. So those are the three cards in the first pocket. And then if you go up here, there's a top loading pocket up here with the envelopes. So let me, this is one big pocket on the top, but I'm gonna pull out the first three envelopes. So here's these three for the three cards here. So I don't really know which ones I'd choose for each one, but probably this one for this. And so these are double-sided as well, so they look lined, which is really pretty. And then maybe I'd pair this one here, super pretty, and this one for this. So there's three cards and three envelopes, and then you flip it over, and there's three more cards in this pocket. And of course they have the inside little journal card on those and then in that same big pocket on the top here's three more envelopes so this is a cute little pocket page you can make in no time at all using one piece of 12 by 12 paper of course I'm going to show you how to make these cards and envelopes as well but I thought that was a cute way to give somebody some note cards and envelopes. You can decorate them as much as you want. Like I said, you can even take these and decorate the front. There's so many options. So maybe we'll do that for the ones we're making on video, but I kind of also like just the plain look of a note card like this with just a simple sentiment on the inside. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you what you're going to need for this project. The first thing we're going to do is make the cute triple pocket. This is super easy. This is a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that we're using. And you're just gonna cut this down to 11 by 12. So since my paper has these little teeny flowers on it, I'm gonna put the top of the paper to the right and the bottom to the left. And I'm just gonna cut this down to 11 inches. So I'm taking one inch off the top. So I'm gonna put this paper on the scoreboard where the top is over here on the right, the bottom is at the left. So this is 11 inches across. And we are going to score this at four inches. Okay, so we've scored it in at four inches. So now I'm gonna turn it this way to where the bottom is down here and the top is up here. The 12 inches across, you're just going to score down the middle at 6 inches. So now we have this with our score lines, and I'm just going to fold on the score line. So here's our 4 inch one, and then the 6 inch score line. So then we take this apart and actually fold this back up and then you're going to fold it in half this way so the pockets are on the outside of this folded page so the next thing i do is one of two things you can either take a circle punch and cut out let me move this so you can see and i'll just slide it down about halfway and cut like a little notch right here just like that so that way you can see it's a true pocket right there. So I'll do that for this side as well. So now I've got the two pockets with a little notch cut out. So you can also cut a little notch with your envelope punch board. So we're gonna be using this later to make the envelopes, but I wanna show you a cool trick. So I'm just gonna unfold this like this, and I only want to cut a notch out of one of the sides and I'll show you why. I'm just gonna put this here, line it up at three inches because I know this is six inches from the score line to the edge. So that's the center. And then I just cut a little notch out right there. So when I close it, you can see that pink gingham paper peeking through and you know that that is a pocket. And so now there's just a few things that need to be glued on here. So I'm just using some wet glue for this and you're just gonna open up your little folder here and do a very, very light bead of glue 
on the bottom as close to the edge as you can get and then on the side as close to the edge as you can get just a very light bead okay so now that those are glued down then I want to glue these little pockets and all you have to do is glue right here to glue that little side of the pocket down okay so I've got this all glued so we have a pocket here a pocket there and a top loading pocket here so I love how this is this is so easy you could use this for like mini album pages or anything but I think that's so simple and you can load this up with goodies but today we're gonna make a card set to load in here using some of the scrapbook paper final measurement on the cards are four and a half by six so the first thing I want to do is cut this paper down to nine inches by six inches so this page we have the top at the top bottom at the bottom if your page has like a design or orientation that you need to follow so we're gonna be cutting this down to nine inches and then you need to cut it to six inches tall so this is now nine by six and the piece you have left should be nine by six so there you go six inches and we already cut it down to nine so now you've got two bases for cards right here so because this is double sided paper we can get two cards out of one sheet I'm just gonna fold this in half so here's our first one super cute I'll make one this way with the Navy on the outside and just like the others we're gonna put something in here um, that's like more of a writing space for the sentiment but already we've got two cards made and I have these two pieces here that I'm also going to make cards out of. So that way we have six all together. Put that aside. And I've got six pieces here to make six envelopes. So for the envelope, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. And you just go to the size of your card, which is right here, four and a half, where is it? Four and a half by six. The paper that you need to cut for your envelope is eight and a half by eight and a half and then it tells you what score line and all that. So first thing we're gonna do is just cut this down to eight and a half by eight and a half. If you don't have an envelope punch board at this point, grab one of the cards you just made and lay it in front of you like a diamond. So it's like this. And then try to center your card the best that you can. And then you're just going to simply fold all your pages in using the edge of your card as a guide. But since I have the envelope punch board, I'm going to go ahead and utilize that. I'm going to put my paper in here and it says the first score should be at three and three quarters. So punch. And there's a little groove over here to score. And then you don't have to line it, or you don't have to measure it anymore. Now, then all you do is you turn it, you find the score line you just made, line it up with this little lever notch right here, punch, and score. And do it again, find the score line you just made, punch, and score. I love this paper, it's so nice and thick, this DCWV paper and it holds up really well to the scoring. So now that you have all of your punches and score lines, it's gonna look like this. And this back edge does the corner round. Just stick your corners in there and punch. This gives it a more nice finished look. And there's your envelope template. So then I just decide which side I want to be on the outside and I want to do the flowers on the outside so I'm just going to fold on all the score lines 
and then you can see it coming together. It's now that simple. It's an envelope. So I'm just going to add my adhesive right here and right here. And then just close it up, burnish it down a little bit, and you've got the most adorable envelope ever, and it fits the card perfectly. And it's lined with that gingham. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to get to work making the rest of my envelopes, the rest of the cards, and I'll be right back to show you how to load it up in your pocket. Okay, so I finished my six envelopes and six cards. So here they all are. They're super cute. I love that they're all double-sided. And then here's the cards. So now it's just time to load them into our cute little pockets. So what I do is I just do three cards per pocket. So I'll just stick them in kind of like this. And then turn it around and do the other three. I haven't decided if I want to use those journal cards again or if I want to do like just like a, a white matte page in there. So we've got three on this side, three on that side. I've got those three beautiful envelopes and I'm going to stick them in the top loading pocket and then I'll turn this over and do the last three. So I've got those and I'll turn them the opposite way and stick them in there. So then I just kind of like to spread them out just a little so they're evenly distributed. Okay, so it's kind of like a tight fit, but I like it because in that way nothing falls out. So it's coming along so cute. And the last thing I like to do is just put a cute little um, embellishment right here. Like this one I just did, some scrap pieces, and then I cut down this journal card. So that's what I'm going to do for this. In the front, I like to choose the side that has the notch there on the top. And I'm just going to grab my little scraps here. These They have some really adorable cards in this. And then actually take my paper trimmer and trim this down. All right, and then I'm going to round the corners just to make it look like more like a die cut. This is like an easy way to use your paper. You can fussy cut stuff and turn them into die cuts and little ephemera pieces. So I just want to see how that looks. Just to give it like another layer of interest. Stick that there. at a little bit of an angle. I think this is just such a cute little gift idea. I just very simply embellished it here as you can see with the journal card. And I think these would make really pretty gifts. You could even tie ribbon around it just to make it more decorative. Um, you could put these in like clear bags and sell them at your craft fair. And they're just little card sets. So you've got six cards and six envelopes and the cute little pocket made out of the paper as well. You could even just use these pocket pages as an idea for like a mini album. Do that. But I loved making these. It's so much fun. I'm doing really good making my way through this paper pad. There's only just a few pages left. I'm really excited about that. This was a full 36 page um, sealed up paper pad just a couple days ago. So I'm really excited to be using it up. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. So I hope you're inspired to use a bunch of your paper that's just been sitting around in your craft room and look at it in a different way. Maybe make a cute little gift out of it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!